Next question, question 15. In a town, 45% population read magazines A, 55% read magazine B, 40% read magazine C, 30% read magazine A and B, 15% read magazine B and C, 25% read magazines A and C, 10% read all the three magazines. What percentage do not read any magazine? So, the equation uh, say in the Venn diagram, uh, we can use Venn diagram method to solve this. Uh, but it is given A, B, C are individually given and A plus B is given, uh, B plus C is given and A plus C is given. Then A plus B plus C, the common region between these are given. So the in such questions, um, to get the whole um, number, wh what we do is we just a plus do a plus b plus c minus a plus b minus b plus c minus a plus c. Then um, add a plus b plus c to it. So what happens if you do this? You will get. Uh, with uh, you will remove all the double counting and get the total number of people in in the region given so this is what we do in the exam hall and we can quickly find the answer i will just um, show what will be the answer here it will be 45 plus 50 5 plus 40 minus so 30 plus 15 plus 25 plus 10 so what does this give so 45 um just um 90 uh, this is 100 140 so 140 minus uh 45 70 so 140 minus 70 plus 10 so this gives 140 minus 70 is 70 plus 10 is 80, so 80 percentage. So, uh, so total number of people is uh, in that region is 80 percentage. So what percentage do not read any magazine in the question? So 100 minus 80, which is 20 is the answer. So 20 percentage C is the answer to this question. So one second. So, uh, uh, so this is how we, uh, if we know the formula, you can quickly uh, find out the answer. Uh, like this using this formula Pe for people who are not familiar uh, with uh, this formula uh, we i will just explain how this formula uh, works okay i will just i will just take a separate for oh, people who are familiar with the form formula please skip to the next portion sorry so i will just draw a new figure here So say this is the entire region and we have three circles A, I'll just draw it big, B and we have C. This is A, this is B and this is C. So I'll just give a uh, color code the regions. So let's um, mark all these regions with white. So when we add okay, the center region, center region is I will just mark it, it mark it with red color. I will I will just give individual re regions a number to make it more easily referable I can easily refer the regions let's okay which region I am talking about say this one this one this region right sorry this re sorry just try it neatly I will call this region 1 the yellow region uh, similarly I'll call this region 2 
similarly i will call this region 3 now i will call this white region 4 this region 5 and this region 6 and i will call the center region 7 so now uh, i showed you this formula right i will uh, i will just write what individually each a means what a means what b means what c means okay so if you if you see for a means a is which all region it is a sum of these three four parts that is a is sum of 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 right these seven four parts add to form a similarly b is um, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 and c is uh, 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 okay and when we say a and b what we mean is a and b the common this is the common region we mean 4 plus 7 this is the region we mean so similarly b and c when we say b and c we mean the common region between b circle and c circle which is 6 and 7 and when we say a and c we mean uh, 5 and 7 okay okay so this is the information and when we say all uh, uh, people who read all the magazine that is a and b and c we just mean the seven the seventh region just seven okay this is the information this is these are the regions that are mentioned all these are given some values so what happens if we add all these three if we add all a a plus b plus c we get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 gets counted twice 5 get counted twice 6 get counted twice and 7 get counted 3 times the region 7 get counted 3 times see this common region uh, is there for all the 3 people so that get counted th uh, 3 times this wide region since it is common to two regions it it gets counted twice so this is what we get if we just simply add a plus b plus c now we want 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 without any double counting we are trying to uh, remove the double counting we uh, do when we just simply add a plus b plus c so we can what we can do we can subtract so uh, the sum this sum if if you add a and b plus b and c plus a and c we will get 4 plus 5 plus 6 which we need to eliminate one these three can be eliminated if we subtract this from this but we also eliminate three sevens so we will also eliminate three sevens from it so we already have three sevens here so that that three sevens also will get removed and one additional four five six will be removed so what happens if we add what is left if we add one a plus b plus c minus uh, a and b plus b and c plus a and c so we get one one plus two plus three remains unchanged uh, and each addition four five six gets removed from here see this get removed so only four five six only one only one four five six will remain all the double counting will get removed and all sevens will be removed since there was three sevens here and there was three sevens already that is present so uh, all those will get removed so what we are left with is, is one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six so in to get all the numbers we need one more region which is a and b and c so we'll we'll have to add a and b a and b and c to it which is just the seventh region region seven so that is what we are doing here if you see i said when we are given these regions we just add these three 
uh, and subtract these three and just add this region to it so that is what we did and we got 80 percentage as the total number total number of people if if you say this is this belongs to 100 people and in this in this uh, inside these circles we have 80 people and so outside this circle we have 20 people that is what the question asked uh, so so the question asked this uh, about this number what percentage do not read any magazine so we got 20 percentage we don't have to mark it in this manner one two three four five six and all we don't need to mark so in questions like this if you if you understand this is how it this formula works if all the individual regions are given like this a b c a and b b and c a and c and a b a and b and c we can just to find the total number of people inside that region we just need to uh, add these three and to avoid the double counting we just subtract all these three from this and then add a, a and b and c to it why that works is what i showed here uh, so i hope this individually marking the regions and doing this uh, doing it like this will clear why uh, this adding this will uh, adding and subtracting and then adding this region will remove the double counting so these white regions will um, get counted twice and seven region seven the region seven will uh, be counted three times and when we remove this all the double counting of white regions will be removed but seven will be completely removed so seven will be added again so that is what we did i hope that is clear uh, i am not sure whether <laughs> this got more confusing but in if that is the case i will do a separate video on it with more clarity uh, which which may bring more clarity so if you if you are still confused do comment and i will try to do a better video anyway this is the solution to question 15 c okay but do remember you don't you never do this these kind of uh, drawings and markings in the exam hall that will take up a lot of time you don't do that you just understand how that formula works and what kind of venn diagram figure the question asks um, in certain question we don't have to find this individual region so just understand what type of question it is and apply the formula uh, and draw venn diagram only if you need clarity on it okay anyway solution to question 15 c